Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here and welcome or welcome back to another new video on the channel and today guys here we are to continue our AFL 2022 match reviews. Of course, same thing as yesterday, Brisbane vs Richmond, we did that match review and here we are for another one, Melbourne vs Sydney, as you guys know. Going to be doing individual match reviews for the whole final series, which is very exciting, an in-depth review of each game. Now, of course, I did say in that Brisbane versus Richmond match reviews that I am sick, uh, not feeling the best right now, but I am starting to feel better, which is really nice. So hopefully I should be back feeling really well in the next couple of days. But here we go. Melbourne vs Sydney, it was Friday night footy, the first qualifying final. Of course, the winner goes through for a home preliminary final. The loser will be playing Brisbane in a home semi. So let's just go ahead, hop right into things. So Friday night footy really did have it all. Melbourne 10 69 get defeated by Sydney 14 91 The Swans advance to a home preliminary final at the SCG, which whoever goes to play them, watch out. Watch out. So it'll either be Freeman or Western Bulldogs, Geelong or Collingwood that will go and play Sydney at the SCG. And I reckon Sydney can beat any of those sides at the SCG. So watch out because I reckon Sydney could be potentially heading through the grand final this year. Melbourne, they've, they've got to go through the long way now. They've got to, they've got to um, win the semi, win the prelim, and then, of course, get through to the grand final, which is more than doable, of course. But, wow, what a game of footy it was. And it was really tight. In that first half of the game, uh, Melbourne did have a better first quarter. In the second quarter, Sydney, they rocked momentum. But the third quarter, oh man, talk about that. It was a really good uh, third quarter though as well. Um, Melbourne kicked five goals, Sydney kicked six. Melbourne kicked the first one, two, three. And then the Swans responded very well to have a very good lead. A healthy two-goal lead at uh, three-quarter time. 65 to 77 and then the last quarter they kick two more goals and they keep Melbourne goalless you want to beat Melbourne this is how you got to do it against this is Sydney showed it perfectly wow 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 what a game of footy it was though I, I reckon um look this 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 game de definitely did have the capability of going either way uh and Sydney ended up being the better of the sides you know I reckon already two upsets of the final series I reckon we've already had two upsets already because of course Rich Melbourne favourites, so were Melbourne, and both those two sides have been knocked off. Um, Richmond eliminated Melbourne. They're using their double chance. They would have loved to have been through to a home prelim, but Sydney will be getting that advantage, and oh boy, it's a big advantage. And for Sydney, having it at the SCG, at the SCG is going to be even bigger. Although Melbourne, I still feel like they'll definitely at least get through to a prelim because they'll be playing Brisbane at the MCG. You know Brisbane's record at the MCG is not that great. But anyway, now to some of the match stat leaders. Clayton Oliver, 29 disposals. He's dangerous. 126 fantasy for Oliver as well. Three goals for Bailey Fritch. 11 tackles for Callum Mills and Luke Parker for the Sydney Swans. They bought the intensity, which is also a way that you've got to do it against Melbourne. All right, now to some match stat leaders. Where Clayton Oliver, 126 AFL fantasies. We know 102 for Mills. 121 for Lloyd. 120 for Parker. 110 for Robottom. I reckon Robottom, he did really... Uh, come alive in this game as well. Uh, one of the best performances I reckon he's had this year, 108 for Gorn, of course we know uh, that he did test Hickey, but Hickey with the 80, 84 still did a really good job. Uh, goals behind, three goals for Fritch, two for Reed. I reckon he's like a forgotten swan that he's now really starting to come back. Hayward, of course, two goals. Oliver, he's so dangerous. And Papley was really doing a lot of work as well with two goals. Jake Lloyd, two goals for him. It's not, it's not, nor, uh, it's very unnormal to see this guy get two goals, but he played really well. Heaney, one goal, two, so dangerous as well. Uh, 29 disposals for Oliver, 25 for Parker and Lloyd. Lloyd, he had a really good game. That, that's all to say, really. 24 for Petrarca, Rowbottom, 23 for Harms, May, Viney, Mills. Now to the marks, 10 for Lloyd. Oh, man, Jake Lloyd had a dominant game. Seven for May, six for Fritch, Harms, Hunt, Mills, Reed, and Rampy. Tackles, 11 for Parker and Heaney. Uh, sorry, for Mills and Parker, sorry. Nine for Heaney, eight for Oliver and Rowbottom. Seven for Jackson and Golden. Now to the hitouts we go. 30 for Gorn, 24 for Hickey, 13 for Jackson, four for Reed, one for Big Ben Brown. Inside 50s, 56 to 50 in favour of Melbourne. So it was a very... 
uh, interesting battle around the inside 50s. Clearances were in favour of Sydney, which is another good thing that you've got to try and do is beat Melbourne in the clearances. Uh, both these two sides have explosive midfields, and Sydney do have a very young team as well, which is really good because I reckon they'll be hanging around finals for probably at least the next couple of years, just as have like Geelong in the past couple, well, in the last lot of years. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're going to be hanging around for sure, Sydney, for the next few years, I reckon, in finals. Uh, and I reckon they've definitely got the potentiality to win at least one flag. Uh, in their state, in the finals, um, and then, let's see what else, Mark's inside 50, 11 to 7 in favour of, uh, of Melbourne, Contesta Mark's 17 to 6 in favour of Melbourne, now of course what you got to do is, there's no surprise with this start here, because Melbourne loved to Mark, May, Gorn, Lever, Brown, Fritch, you've got plenty of players, they can take marks for Melbourne. So too for Sydney. But with Melbourne, though, what you got to do is you got to test them. you got to get the ball to ground. you got to test Melbourne. you got to test that when, when the ball goes to ground, that's where Sydney can come alive. They can play intensity footy. They can tackle. They can bump. And then that's where you can get Melbourne to turn the footy over. And then you can send it inside 50, get a mark, get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Or even better, bring the ball to ground. Let Warner, Papley go to work. Even Reid or Buddy, they can still kick it off the ground or pick it up and kick it as well. You just got to bring the intensity. So no wonder why the marks inside 50 and that and marks, uh, sorry, contested marks are in favour of uh, Melbourne because you've got to bring the ball to ground. Even just to spoil um, to, to ground and then you can just let your small forwards go to work, which, like I said, Papley is a really dangerous one. Hayward's that medium-sized forward that can go and pick it up. So you've got many different players from Sydney that can do that. So no wonder why that stat is like that because if you just let May, Lever, go and sit back all night and take all those marks, you'll get thumped by Melbourne because that's the way Melbourne want you to do. They want you to kick it long. They want you to mark. And even if Sydney do kick it long, though, spoil it. And it may not sound that easy, but yeah, you got to spoil it, get the ball to ground. That's how you. That's how you'll beat Melbourne. Sydney did lead for most of the game. I reckon definitely in the end, deserving winners. This is what they did to Melbourne last time when they played on a Saturday night, and they did it again. Seventy to eighty-four tackles again. What I was just speaking to before, uh, speaking about before, bring the ball to ground, and then Melbourne have to work to get the ball back. They've got to get the ball, but then obviously, then you can start laying tackles, laying bumps, all that stuff. Bring the intensity, make it a hard fought game. And that's also what like Carlton did a few weeks ago to Melbourne as well. And that's how that they almost beat them as well. And that's what teams have done to beat Melbourne. Make it an intensity game. That's what Sydney did so well back in round 12, I think, when they beat them. Tackles inside 50, 13 to 25 as well. Uh, really nice stat there for the Swans. Laying more tackles. That's what they wanted to do. Their plan was to be intense. Bring the intensity footy, high pressure, uh, heated footy. That's exactly what they did. And that's why they got the result that they wanted. Uh, because they they lay they, they got the ball to ground, they did exactly what you need to do to beat Melbourne, and they showed it really well. And that's why they were definitely deserving of a 22-point win with Sydney. Fantastic stuff. Through to a home prelim at the SCG. Could this be their year? Melbourne, they're going to have to go the long way this year. So, of course, a recap of what we've already seen. Uh, Brisbane 106, beat Richmond 104 on Thursday night. Feel free to go ahead and watch that full round um, round review after this one has finished. Uh, Melbourne lost to Sydney by 22 points. And look, that, that's, a, that, that's a really good performance by Sydney. I just went in depth about how they beat Melbourne. And that's what you've got to do. The teams that have beaten Melbourne this year have done that. Chaos footy, put the pressure on Melbourne. That is exactly how you'll do it. So now, of course, footy action, there's still more of it to come. A double header, which is really exciting. One game to the next. Um, 4.35, Geelong taking on Collingwood at the MCG. Should be a belter of a Saturday twilight game, of course. The other preliminary final is up for grabs at the MCG. So whoever wins this will get a home preliminary final at the MCG. Uh, and then, of course, Fremantle versus the Western Bulldogs. Whoever loses... This game is out. Whoever wins will go and join the loser of Geelong and Collingwood. We've already found out that Brisbane, that Melbourne will be playing Brisbane next week at the MCG. Um, and then it's yet to be decided with these two games, two more massive games. Um, apparently it's meant to be Wheaton Perth. So Bulldogs upset, perhaps. And then, of course, a sold-out MCG for Geelong and Collingwood. That's going to be a brilliant game. The two teams that have had brilliant streaks overseas in 2022. 
But the Swans got the job done by 22 on Friday night. Footy between the Ds and the Swans. Cracking game. Cracking review that we just did. And two more cracking games coming up today. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And hit that notification, and hit that notification bell. Sending guys and another another video on the channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Goodbye everyone. Flaming footy out.